Now, if you've been with us any length of time, you might remember our review of the Diamondback DB9. Itty bitty pocket 9mm. I mean, look, my finger is about as long as the slide is. What's smaller than this? The DB380. Even smaller, and that's what's coming up next on GB Guns. So opening our box, the DB380 does come in this nice uh, soft-sided zipper case. You get a trigger lock and you get the flush magazine plate, which I'm excited to get for something else that I'll be showing you later. And our membership card, here's their manual. Nice full color photos. Explaining how the whole deal works. Let's take a look at the gun. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can get in on this itty bitty guy. The styling on the grip is reminiscent of the FS9, which as you know we're a fan of. Hope these things come back soon. Uh, I think they're pretty neat guns and a hell of a gun for the price. Let's get back to the DB380 though. So the 380, and of course we'll show clear. Empty magazine. Magazine did require some tugging to get out and clear chamber. These are pocket guns, obviously. You can tell by the size of it compared to my hand. The intent of this is to have something of ultimate concealment and still some capacity. You're looking at uh, 5 plus 1 of 380, which is my guess on that. Um, itty bitty thing. Uh, coming around the front, slide to frame, good and snug. Barrel is thin, but that's what you got to do to make something this small. Front cog inspirations for press check, which is good, especially for a pocket gun or a carry gun to be able to check and see if there's anything in the chamber. We do not have a slide lock, but like I said, uh, this is a grab it out of the pocket and mash gun, not a range gun. We do have plenty of texturing to add grip. Look how thin that thing is. And if you guys want numbers, you can check out uh, the link in the description below. Slide to frame, good and snug and nothing on the right side of the gun. I think rather nice looking, certainly follows the uh, design styling of it all. Trigger pull, long, the clean, clean break though. Towards the back, not bad for a defensive gun. Sights are tiny, uh, but once again, this is kind of meant to be one of those point and shoot type deals. Um, very, very small gun. We asked for it specifically so that we could fit something in EAA's new ABDO. Now you may recall we reviewed an ABDO in the past. This one is a bit different. That'll be a separate video. Uh, got some really cool features to it. I'm excited about having this. And this guy with the flush magazine fits in. So I've got to change out the uh, base plate on there and then uh, we'll get to that. But Itty bitty pocket gun, how it stacks up to the LCP, I'm curious to see. Um, certainly more affordable, I think better looking, but uh, I don't know, let me know your comments below. Um, these have been around for a long time, so I'm sure some of you have had one before. Uh, what are your thoughts? What did you like? What did you not like? And uh, we'll hopefully get this out to the range soon. Field stripping the DB380 is just like most modern polymer guns. We've got to pull the trigger, pull down on the takedown levers on both sides, and the slide comes forward and off. Looking inside, you can see we've got the same basic construction, just simplified and miniaturized. Non-captured recoil spring, which I'm okay with. That makes them a lot easier to change when they wear out. And there's our itty bitty barrel. Nice polished feed ramp. Got a bit of a chamfering there to uh, aid in reliability. Let's see what kind of support we get. We've got a Fiocchi 95 grain standard round. So about the only unsupported part is right there at the bottom of the ramp. I'm not particularly too worried about that uh, as that's pretty common. Um, and 380 is an interesting round. It's a browning round and you can get them 
I've seen them as light as 50 grain and as heavy as 115 grain, the same weight as 9 mil. So we'll be trying some different weights through this thing and see how we get for reliability um, and also be using it in that abdo. Give me your thoughts. We'll get this back together and out to the range. Hey, thanks again for watching GB Guns. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you like our format or you're trying to figure out how to make some angry argumentative comment and uh, start up an argument down below, that's cool. Click the giant griffin to subscribe. We've got a Patreon page set up now. That's where stuff gets published first. It goes up there while I wait for manufacturers to okay things or uh, maybe I'm fine tuning it. So if you want to see behind the scenes, it's on the Patreon page. Over here is a link to a video that YouTube assumes you're going to like based on stuff you've watched. I don't know if it's any good, you tell me. And down here is the playlist affiliated with what you just watched. We do have lots of playlists, that's where everything's organized. So if there was something in this video and you're saying, hey, where's the shooting or where's the tabletop or oh, I didn't know about, check the playlist. That's where it's going to be. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.